I welcome you all to the KQ Cargo Center as we announce our partnership with the Rhino Ark Charitable Trust to support the conservation of our national forest ecosystem resources through this year's Rhino Charge. As an integral uh, part of uh, the Kenya Airways family, KQ Cargo supports the wider corporate social responsibility activities of the airline through this partnership. The Rhino Charge is held annually as a competitive motorsport event seeking to raise funds to support conservation efforts targeting key forest ecosystems in Kenya. As a business that uh, is attuned to global best practices, we see it as our responsibility in Kenya US Cargo to support environmental protection and con conservation. This is imperative to sustainable business development. Securing our environment is equal to securing the interests of present and future generations. This partnership with Rhino Ark Charitable Trust therefore signifies our underlying belief in sustainable business. KQ Cargo is supporting the global freight uh, team, which is amongst those participating in this year's event to the tune of 750,000 shillings. This money will go to meeting the operational expenses of the team. My group CEO, uh, Mr. Mbuvenguze, will reveal to you all our overall sponsorship uh, shortly. We support the expansion of the scope of this uh, initiative to cover Mount Kenya and Mao Eburu Forest, two very, very key national water towers. On our business, let me start that KQ uh, Cargo will continue to grow its business in the challenging global uh, economic environment. Last February, we brought on board our first cargo freighter in partnership with KLM, which is doing very well. Our strategy entails playing in the increasingly lucrative Afro-Asian trade corridor, especially targeting China and India. As you well know, those are actually the emerging partners for Africa. Indeed, the freighter we launched two months ago has done very well in as far as the, the volumes that we have carried so far. The addition of more cargo freighters is expected to grow the revenue of both KQ Cargo and Kenya Airways in the coming years in line with our 10-year growth plan. By 2021, we plan to have about 12 freighters in our fleet. In closing, let me commend the organizers of Rhino Charge for the good work they continue to do to support environmental conservation in Kenya. I wish our team, the Global Freighters a team, uh, and all the other participants the best of luck as they tough it out in the bush to support this noble initiative. Thank you very much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we're very honored to be called here today, Kate and myself from the Rhino Arc team. Um, I'm just going to say a few words, okay? Um, the, the background of Rhino Arc. Rhino Arc is a charitable trust founded in 1988, and it was formed to support conservation in Kenya. Rhino Arc helps to develop sustainable solutions to the challenges facing mountain forests, ecosystems, and threatened biodiversity areas. Our approach is embodied in the philosophy in humans in harmony with habitat and wildlife, and propagated through effective partnerships with stakeholders. The Rhino Arc Abadeh Electric Fence Project is the cornerstone of our conservation mission. It is a world-renowned example of how to achieve a win-win equilibrium that balances the needs of local communities with the goal of protecting nature. Um, now, we'd like to take this opportunity to inform you that the EBITDA Trust launch is now scheduled to take place this Friday, May 11th, 2012, and the Right Honorable Dr. Raila Odinga, Prime Minister of Kenya, has agreed to grace, this grace, to grace the occasion and will be the chief guest. This, of course, will be held in Bondeni in the Aberdeen National Park. Over the years, Rhino Arc's work has evolved towards seeking sustainable 
long-term solutions to the conservation challenges facing mountain forest ecosystems and other areas of important biodiversity under threat. In December 2010, RANOAC announced its formal commitment to supporting Mount Kenya and Maui Buru ecosystems. Fence construction for these two new projects has already begun. At the core of our success is the support of our friends whose donations make our work possible through the annual Rhino Charge. Most of them, should I say, are our Kenyan taxpayers. And however, we also get support from friends from overseas and the world over, worldwide. We welcome the support of Kenya Airways and hope that it will continue to induce further public and private sector support for conserving our vital mountain water towers. Thank you. Uh, it's my honor to be invited to speak and great pleasure to be here today. Um, I, would, I wanted to brief you on what Rhino Charge and what Rhino Art is doing, but I think uh, Shoda and Valerie has already <coughs> done most of the thing I wanted to read out to explain to you what they are doing. Actually, the, this Rhino Charge, uh, to achieve this, the drastic intervention of the Rhino Charge, which was done, and in 1988, actually, a group of visionary conservationists stepped into a bridge forming Rhino Arc, a Kenyan charitable trust. It's totally a Kenyan charitable trust. The aim of Rhino Arc was to seek solution to these challenges of constructing game-proof electric fence and was identified as a possible uh, solution. Uh, Rhino Charge actually has done a lot from since 1988, and they've already there is uh, the fundraising for the initiative, the initiative job which was taken for Aberdeer Fence, which has been completed, and uh, it's nearly 400 kilometers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was completed, and I think they have now moved into a new area of uh, Mount, uh, around Mount Iburu, and also Mount Kenya, where they have started a new project on that side. So I've always been with them. We're trying to support as much as we can as a team, and we get support from Kenya Airways, and I appreciate, uh, I'd like to take opportunity to thank Kenya Airways for uh, this outstanding sponsorship they've given to me this year, and hope they continue doing that. And of course, as uh, Chris has mentioned, Kenya has always been part of this contribution towards ECHO, you know, to help them on that. So, as I said, I don't have much uh, to say, because most of the things have been said, and uh, I've been doing this Rhino Charge for the last 20 maybe 21 years. And uh, finally, is to say that this is not the first or last Kenya Airways will support Rhino Arc charity. It has always been one of the most active in sponsoring the cause. Once more, I thank Kenya Airways cargo team in making my Rhino Chair 2012 possible, and thank you for all. Thank you very much. And Mr. Abim Sani, the MT Global Freight, members of the organizing committee of the Rhino Charge, officials, from the Rhino Arc Charitable Trust, Sauda, uh, General Manager Cargo, colleagues in Kenya Airways, media present. I feel honored to join you today as we announce our sponsorship for this year's Rhino Charge, which is a noble initiative seeking to protect and conserve one of Kenya's largest and most valuable forest ecosystems, namely the Abdeas. I'm aware, of course, that Rhino Charge is held annually as a competitive motorsport event, pitting man against machine in tough terrain with the sole aim of raising funds to support the activities of the Rhino Arc Charitable, Charitable Trust. And I have always watched from the sidelines, maybe this year I might actually venture and uh, get involved much closer. Maybe not in the car, but somewhere different. As you're aware, the Trust has been spearheading the construction of an electric fence around the Abadeas, which is an important national water tower. Kenya Airways, through its subsidiary KQ Cargo, is proud to be participating in the Rhino Charge as part of its corporate social responsibility initiatives. As an airline, we are committed to be an environmentally responsible company in the way we do business around the globe. To this end, we have a number of ongoing CSR activities focused on the environment. For instance, we have, a, we have in place a carbon offset program 
in partnership with IATA, through which we offer our passengers an opportunity to offset carbon dioxide emissions related to their flights. Kenya Airways collects offset contributions on behalf of passengers to be invested in an environmental conservation projects in Kenya. One of these is a reforestation of the Ngong Forest. The need for environmental conservation of the ecosystem cannot be overemphasized. Protecting our forest ecosystems through initiatives such as electric fencing of the Abadeas not only preserves a rich natural heritage, but also minima minimizes incidents of human-wildlife conflict. As a late Nobel laureate, Professor Wangari Madai once said, we owe it to ourselves and to the next generation to conserve the environment so that we can bequeath our children a sustainable world that befits us all. As Valerie has mentioned and uh, uh, Mr. Abi Masani, the scope of this initiative has now expanded to cover Mount Kenya and the Aburu forests, two very key national uh, water towers. And as you are aware, recently we had forest fires that decimated some parts of the Mount Kenya forest. So it is even more important now that we focus our initiatives in protection of water towers. Through the valiant efforts of participants, Last year's event held in Baringo North raised a total of 77 million Kenya shillings to support fencing of the Abadeas. And I know each year the figure keeps on going more and more. And I think if you look back in the annals of history, I think each year you have kept on progressing, which is actually a very commendable job. And I think a lot of Kenyans have taken it upon themselves to contribute and come out and support this initiative. For this year... Kenya Airways will contribute 1.5 million shillings towards the Rhino Charge Kitty. Out of this, 750,000 shillings will go to directly supporting the Rhino Arc initiative. The rest will be used to support the Global Freight Team, which will be participating in this year's event. And believe it or not, Mr. Musani will be the, Musani will be the one driving that car, as he has done for the last... 21 years. I Looking at him, I looked at him and said, are you sure you're the one who drives this vehicle? And he confirms yes, and he says his back is still in good shape. I think he does a lot of massage and exercise huh, regularly. Let me reiterate Kenya with his commitment to supporting initiatives of this kind. We believe that they have a tremendous positive impact on the community at large. Our business as an airline, as you know, continues to grow as we progress our 10-year growth plan. This plan ex ex entails expanding our fleet and destination network in line with growing passenger and cargo volumes into and out of Africa. You know, just last month, we were we had launched a rights issue to raise money towards helping us achieve this 10-year vision that we have. We view our cargo business as a huge revenue driver in the context of, of expanded trade between Asia and Africa. KQ Cargo today accounts for about 10% of the total revenue of the KQ Group. This year, we embarked on boosting our cargo carrying capacity beyond the traditional reliance on belly cargo by bringing in a cargo freighter in partnership with KLM. Our deliberate strategy is to position ourselves and indeed uh, this hub in Africa, in Kenya, as an airline that connects Kenya to the rest of the world and the rest of Africa particularly. And that is why we are focusing on growing the Nairobi hub. In closing, let me commend the organizers of Rhino Charge for the good work they have continued to do in supporting environmental conservation in Kenya. Kenya Airways is proud of this partnership. I also wish to pay tribute to the dozens of participants who are taking part in this year's event for their dedication to preserving our rich natural heritage. I wish them all luck as they take part in the grueling context, contest that exemplifies the spirit of competition at its best, but with the noble aim of conserving our environment. In conclusion, let me thank you all for making it here today. Thank you. First, we unveil the car first. We present the sponsorship.